Hello, we have today. We have with us today <coughs> Kerry Hebert from the Carton Network. Hello, Kerry. Can you first tell us a little bit about the Carton Network and what it does? I can. Thank you so much for <coughs> making us so welcome here, though. <coughs> The Carton Network was set up by a man called Ian Carton and he had a really interesting story. He came over to England to do his degree yeah. one year before the Second World War started. Yeah. And he came from Germany and he was Jewish and while he was in the UK studying, his parents, because the, the war was about to start, yes. And his parents, because they were Jewish, were put into concentration yes. camps. And in fact, most of his family were murdered. Yes. So Ian needed a grant, a scholarship, to finish his degree. And he made a pledge that he would give back what he had been given. So he worked very hard throughout his life and he made some money. And so he sponsored people to go to university. But after he'd retired, he was visiting a charity and he saw a young man writing a letter using chin switches yes. and a keyboard on the screen. And Ian said, that's what I want my money to go to. So this was back in the 1990s. Yes. So he started giving organizations money to set up centres, IT centres for people with disabilities. And the one at Forest Hall is one of the first ones that was set up in 2000. Yes. And now, you wouldn't believe this, we have 115 centres in the UK and in Israel. That's wonderful. Isn't it amazing? It's fantastic, that. And Ian and his wife didn't have children, and yeah. they've now both passed, sadly passed away. But that's his legacy, isn't that's it? That's lovely, that. It's a lovely story, that. Isn't it a lovely it's story? beautiful, that. Yeah. He was a very special man. Yes, I can understand it. I think what made him special, he overcame that. Yeah. It didn't make him a sad or an angry man. He was a man who felt lucky yeah. to, to have a full and happy life. And he wanted to share that with other people. That's a lovely story, that. Mm -hmm. And so lots of people have got challenges in their lives, yeah. haven't they? Yeah. And some of them are obvious. We can see what some yeah. people's challenges are. But other people have got, got challenges that we can't see. And so Ian, I think, his example always says to me, we can fight and overcome our challenges. Yeah. We can make our lives they always said it's not what you can't do, it's what you can Absolutely. Dare. I think that that caption should be here as well. Yes. <laughs> it's not what you can't do, it's what you can. Yeah. And uh, for you for the coming and uh, for me the interview with you, it's been lovely. It's fabulous, isn't it? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. What do you foresee for the future for Cotton Network? I think it's a really interesting time because when Ian started, what people needed was a room with computers yeah. with assistive technology yes and you could put a plaque on the outside of the the door and we knew what the carton center was yes but now if you think about the equipment we funded here would he have imagined in the 1990s that he would give money for people to go and have a band and go and perform and do gigs all over the place well, the so yeah. technology is different I think that's wonderful that. It, and technology is much more mobile, yeah. so it's not bounded by a room. So I think as technology changes, so the Carton Network will yes. change. What has been the most memorable moment for the art, Carton Network? Oh, that's difficult. I think there are so many memorable moments. Oh, I think... You, Percy Headley was one of the first places I came to. So for me, coming along and opening KMS yeah. will stick in my mind. Yeah. And I was telling Mary this yesterday, I was given a money box yeah. by Percy Headley, made in your ceramics department, yeah. and it said smash me on it. Yeah, one of yeah. those that don't yeah. have an opening. 
So I kept putting two pound coins in that yeah. money box and I promised my family that when I was 60 I would smash it. So when on my 60th birthday I got a big hammer and I smashed this money box full of two pound yeah. coins and I had over 500 pounds. Yeah. And that goes back to coming and visiting and opening KMS. Yeah. Can, I, can I say this much? You don't look, you don't look, you don't look <laughs> your age, mate. You don't. You're very sweet, thank I'm you. Very, you don't look your age. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, that's no, been really you. good fun. Thank you.